Assalamualaikum. So, Sheikh, I'm I'm like speechless. I've been um, listening to your audios and videos since 2002. I'm like since Yalla Shabab, so I'm actually Egyptian. Okay. I probably have nothing to say to you that you haven't heard before. Um, so I'll, I'm like one of my dreams in my bucket list was to meet you. So now at least I meet you in Zoom, which is like um. Subhanallah, I'm, I'm like speechless, but I just wanted to thank you very much. Like since 2002, Yalla Shabab. So now I'm living in Malaysia. And as you are saying, I'm Egyptian actually, I'm living in Malaysia. So what, what you were saying about, you know, Ahmed Abad and whatever. So where I live now is called Selangor Darul Ahsan. So this is the, like the state we're living in. And this is how like they call Malaysian like suburbs or states. And the other thing I want to really think about is that you were, um, I was just yesterday listening to your um, speech, I think Jewels of Quran from last year. And you were saying about how children fast because I have a daughter and like at school, it's like um, a real fight because everyone is like fasting. She's 11. And when you said yesterday that, uh, you know, fasting, we, we get along with it. And, you know, we don't like let the children fast up until they are 12. I was a little bit relieved because like she she fats and then she gets sick so now she's lying down <laughs> she has a fever and like um now it's 7 a.m over here in malaysia so mm -hmm. it's very very hectic and like the moment i heard you say about this 12 years i thought like oh alhamdulillah because like you know at school they're praying but the fasting is like i don't know maybe she's a yeah, little that, bit weak that that was that was the Shafi position, because Malaysians, as you know, are mostly Shafi. So the Shafi yeah. position, they encourage the children to fast once they reach seven. The Malikis, Imam Malik did not like it. He thought that it was like ta'dib. He, he said it was actually uh, adab for children because he, he said the reason that you get them praying at seven is because they're going to have to pray every day. But he said fasting comes once a year, so we all have to get used to it. So he said it wasn't something that they needed to have tadrib about in the same way that they needed with fasting. That was his position. And, and we know just from, you know, glucose is very important. Um, children, children need to have carbohydrates. Um, you know, they... they because their brain, you know, they're still developing. And so you don't want to stunt their, their, uh, their cellular growth. I mean, they're still developing. Um, their brains are developing. Uh, the wiring's all still uh, going on. And so I don't know. I think it makes a, a lot of sense not to have them fast until they're older. I think if they're 10, 11, you know, that's probably... But when they're really little, I, it's, I think it's, a, it's not good. I mean, just medically. And, and I think most doctors would probably argue that because, I mean, you're, you know, your blood sugar goes down and, uh, you know, you're, you're just, you don't have any um, source for, for uh, nutrients and things. For us, it's good. It's actually good for us because uh, autophagy, I think they call it, you know, the, the autophagy, the where the body starts eat. There's, when you fast, if you're doing proper fasting, where you're not eating a lot of food when you break your fast, um, I mean, we should lose weight in Ramadan, but the, the, the autophagy, I mean, there's a Japanese man who won a Nobel prize on this. The, the actual, the, the body has cells that go and clean up uh, because they actually will eat the bad things in the body before it, it will begin to eat, um, good things. So you don't start losing muscle until it's already eaten all the other stuff. Um, so that's, that's really good because there's, you know, we have viruses, we have bacteria, we have proteins, we have, um, you know, um, potentially tumors forming, cysts, things like that. So yeah, waste matter. So it's, it's really good. But yeah, I, I agree. But I know if she's around all these kids that are also fasting, it's, you know, it's peer pressure. That's like the the man in South Africa who's 105 got interviewed, and the the lady said, "Are there any perks about being 105?" And he said, "No more peer pressure." Jazakallah <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sheikh Hamza, did you want to take another question? Yeah. <laughs> 